This problem is similar to the previous one where we are going to apply a double angle identity with a summer difference identity. So the first thing we're going to apply is that difference identity. So I've written this cosine in terms of its difference identity. So we're going to end up with the first cosine of 2 alpha cos beta. So 2 alpha represents the first part of that angle. Beta represents the second part. And then sine of 2 alpha sine beta. Okay, and I'm just going to put maybe this in brackets to make sure that we're clear that that is grouped together like that. Okay, so we have a picture for beta. So we're going to be able to replace the cosine and sine beta with the beta to the right. We do not have a picture for 2 alpha, but we have a picture for alpha. So what that means is we need to apply another identity. And once I apply the identity and break down that 2 alpha into a single alpha, we can use the diagram above. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rewrite that cosine of 2 alpha, and I'm going to ex express that with a double angle identity for cos. Now I have a choice of three identities. I'm just going to use the first one, which is cosine squared alpha minus sine squared alpha. Okay, the cosine beta, I'm just going to actually, rep I can leave that as expression, but since I have the cosine beta to my right here, the cosine beta is a ratio in the picture. So I'm going to use, replace the cosine beta with 3 over 5. So I replace that whole expression with the 3 over 5. I don't put the, write down things like this. This does not make sense if I was going to write down like this. I see this lots of, written down lots of times. This makes no sense. So please don't write down cosine and then the ratio. The whole expression cosine beta is 3 over 5. Then we're going to go plus. The sine beta, or sine of 2 alpha, we're going to replace that with the double angle identity for sine, which is 2 sine of single alpha, cosine of alpha. So there's my double angle identity for sine. So that's that part. That's that part. I can put in the expression for sine beta, but since I know what sine beta is from my picture, I'm going to replace that whole sine beta. And again, I'm not going to write sine negative 4 over 5. This makes no sense. Okay, I'm just going to replace that whole sine beta with negative 4 over 5. Okay, so now I've done, I've got my identities. I can now replace my cosine, my cosine alpha with the cosine in this picture. So it's negative 3 over 7. So where I see the cosine, I'm going to replace that cosine squared alpha, or just the cosine part, with negative 3 over, over 7 minus. I've got sine squared. So where I take a look at my picture for sine, the sine is going to be root 40 over 7, and then I have already worked out my value for cosine beta, which is 3 over 5, plus, I'm going to then replace the alpha parts of this, so 2 times sine alpha, when I take a look at my alpha, sine alpha was root 40 over 7, cosine is negative 3 over 7, and then I've got my negative 4 over 5, which I which is my sine beta part. So at this point, I've just replaced all the, the trig expressions with the trig ratios. Now it's just calculating the answer. So I end up with negative 3 squared is 9 over 49. Negative 9, or sorry, negative uh, 40 root. Neg sorry, minus root 40 squared. So root 40 squared is going to be 40. And that's going to be over the denominator 49. And you'll notice that the denominators end up being the same. Times 3 over 5 plus. Here I'm just going to multiply everything together. So times on top. So 
Just keeping track of my signs first is negative and negative, so that's a positive. 2 times 3 times 4 is 24, root 40, and that's all over 7 times 7 times 5, or 49 times 5 is 245. Okay, so that's the whole expression there. I get negative 31 over 49 times 3 over 5 plus 24 root 40 over 245. Okay, and then negative 31 times 3 is negative 93 over the common denominator of 245 plus 24 root 40 over 245. Okay, so the final answer is going to be negative 93 plus 24 root 40 all over 245. And if we want to, and you can leave your answer like this,